It's been 100 years since a small group of community leaders and physicians decided to start up an organization that had the sole mission of curing cancer. I'm talking about the American Cancer Society. Now, since that beginning, 100 years ago, the American Cancer Society has become the world's leader in the fight against cancer. This morning, I'm going to talk with one of the American Cancer Society board members down here in the Keys, Les Jackson. Les, thank you so much for joining me today. Well, Jenna, thanks for having us, and uh, thanks for your strong support, wonderful support of the American Cancer Society over the years. You're always there for us. Well, absolutely. It's a, it's a wonderful organization. Les, I kind of talked a little bit about the history, just how this organization started out so small 100 years, and it has grown so much. Well, I think that the enthusiasm has all started with a spark, and you're right, it absolutely has caught fire. Um, when we look back a hundred years uh, of cancer's history, uh, the American Cancer Society was the first to um, discover things like the causal effect of smoking the, and, and cancer. That seems pretty silly today mm -hmm. th that you would ever doubt that, but at the time, a hundred years ago, you'll look back at those old films and see them smoking at the meeting. Even the, even the people in the American Cancer Society were smoking at the meeting. Um, since then, the tremendous discoveries. The American Cancer Society employs um, 34 Nobel laureates. You probably wonder where to go to get a job if you're a Nobel laureate. Well, the American Cancer Society has that kind of a power and clout. Uh, in fact, the discovery of uh, the genetic code, the doctors Pons and uh, 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 Frickman, um, we're working for the American Cancer Society. Monumental discoveries from the American Cancer Society. Monumental steps forward. And the reason why, Les, to this day, that we're, we're so much closer to finding a cure for cancer is really because of the American Cancer Society. Well, absolutely. And, and every other, I don't want to discount any other uh, research or things, but the American C Cancer Society is the go-to organization and has been. Their organization has spanned decades. Uh, the uh, pap smear comes from the American Cancer Society. Um, local outreach. Uh, we have uh, feel good, look good. We drive people around to their um, appointments. Uh, the communities here is, is tremendous. We have over 40 teams raising uh, over a quarter million dollars for uh, cancer research in this, in this community. That's, mm -hmm. that's tremendous. It's, it's just such fellowship and such support. Um, uh, you almost can't get it anywhere else. Yeah, you can't. Now, Les, I mentioned that you are a board member for the American Cancer Society. So why did you personally decide to get involved in this uh, organization? Well, I think everyone has a story. Everyone has a relative or, or a friend who's been impacted. Um, and of course, I have. You know, if, if, I don't think this disease has left anyone alone. Um, they say Stephen Jobs could have told the doctor, I'll give you a thousand a minute, a thousand dollars a minute to keep me alive, and he would live for another 30 years. He is a multi-billionaire, the founder of Apple, and yet all the money in the world um, can't, can't help you out if, if we haven't found a cure yet. But for me, it was, um, it was a support of Lower Keys Medical Center. We had, we had a, a great uh, relay captain, uh, Drew Emery, who handed me a great program, and, and Nikki Will, and Maylin, and uh, it's hard to imagine the support we get because we do some zany things there. We have art shows and we have bake sales in the lobby and we wander around like leprechauns for two weeks and we have bras for cause, we have bras strewn all Now this is a corporate business. We're Fortune 500, yet the administration still um, sees the value in it. I uh, tell one funny story. Um, somebody came down from home office and we were kind of worried because our lobby was strewn with decorated bras. We didn't know how that was going to look to the uh, corporate brass. Um, but when he came through the door with uh, Nikki Will, um, he was touched and told his own story. His wife had been impacted by you know, this terrible disease and didn't miss a beat. So we all felt where we were worried, but after that we all felt, you know, uh, again, empowered mm -hmm. by by our, our company. And I know that that's, that's something that we see throughout this community, that companies allow, and I don't want to say tolerate, it sounds like a bad, not only tolerate, but encourage. Mm -hmm. You see a nurse with a green bow on, that's not a normal thing, <laughs> okay? 
but the patients love it too. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. uh, yeah. that kind of got me started. Okay, well Les, you're, you're right. Everybody has been touched by cancer, so you, you have to, when you see something like that, you just have to feel inspired by it, and you also want to help in that fight against cancer. For any more information on the American Cancer Society, you can just check out the website that you see on the bottom of the screen, and of course, if you want to get involved down here in Monroe County, they're always looking for more volunteers. Thank you so much for being on with me this well, morning. Well, thanks for having us. Mm -hmm. It's thank great, great much. talking with you. And everybody, thank you for tuning in with me this morning. I hope that you can join me back here tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and then again at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day.